first thing you'll probably notice is my audio quality is like really bad all of a sudden. This is basically Stadia's fault. Um, I can tell you I am using a condensed microphone. It's an ML1, which is made by a company called Slate Digital. And that is going into a professional audio interface um, called uh, Motu Ultralight Mark II, I think. So that's essentially what my audio interface does. So I'm just basically telling you that because obviously the audio quality from my voice is uh, not very good. But on the bright side, the video quality of your stream should be much better than what I've been able to get so far. And the also also the in-game video sorry, in-game audio quality will be just as good pretty much. Um, but yeah, I've switched to the direct streamer from Stadia just because it's extremely convenient and I didn't actually realise it was available yet. Otherwise, this is what I probably would have started doing. Um, but it's really cool. I think it's just so convenient to just click a button and then immediately get it up like, like it's nothing when like it's just coming from Stadia. It's just so strange to do it like this, but I think it's really, really quite convenient. So that's why I'm doing it like this. I'm just hoping that in the future they'll um, they'll improve the quality of the commentary audio because uh, that's actually actually my job in real life as an audio engineer. So it kind of makes me cringe to think that this is what the audio is like. Uh, but anyway, we'll get into the gameplay now. Enough excuses about my audio quality, even though it's not me making it bad. We're currently here. We're about to meet uh, Judy. After doing a mission with it in the clouds, we essentially agree. Oh, I can't drive any further. It's slowing us down. All right. So basically, we did a mission helping her out with the clouds, helping her get rid of some um, bad eggs that were working there, that were leading the whole thing. And uh, apparently, she has a surprise for us. Now, I'm hoping that this surprise is not uh, sort of like a relationship based surprise or leading towards a relationship because we have just. Uh, started a intimate relationship with Pan Am so if it is that we're gonna have to unfortunately turn her down even though she is quite cool but we're not gonna be a nasty person in this game are we so I'm take it wants us to wait here let's see what she wants Miss Judy Is she going... Oh, I remember. Do you know what? Look what she's wearing. If you actually look through her, um, her apartment, you'll actually find underwater gear. So we must be going for a little underwater escapade. Oh, who did I just get messages from then? We've got a message from Claire here. Let's just take a look at these before we get into... I'm assuming we're going to be diving with Judy. Anyway, Claire's message does. She said, Guess who? So, the next race is practically in my backyard, which means I need to make sure folks around here know I walk my talk. Uh, meet at the corner of Brandon and Wellston. Wellston, sorry. Give me a call when you get there. Yep. See what she messages us back, or if she messages us back. Let's open up messages. In fact, because I think I got another message then as well. Just give these a quick look. We've had a message from Mitch out with a bang. I needed that. Take care of Scorpion's things, okay? Don't want them ending up in some seedy pawn shop. I mean, other than his bike, I don't really know what, what else we have. And this is a message from Delamain. We did all the Delamain missions yesterday. Uh, well, not yesterday, sorry, start of the week. Uh, so, dear Mr. V, I believe I have discovered the cause of my technical difficulties. Each Delamain vehicle is equipped with a simplified AI core that is responsible for the vehicle's autonom autonomy in critical situations when contact with the core has been ruptured. If my assessment is correct, the AI cores have seceded from the Delamain network and gone rogue, so to speak. I'm still attempting to work out how. 
Okay, you mean your cars are sentient? Uh, keep me posted. Maybe it's just a virus. Let's go with this one. Because they did seem to have a mind of their own. Um, apologies, it seems my explanation was more than a li little incoherence given the complexity of the situation. Allow me to use a metaphor. Imagine a human organ deprived of vital resources, which when sorry which when sorry, which then causes it to grow larger as a form of overcompensation such as cardi cardiomegaly so that's like where your heart grows really big essentially isn't it unfortunately however i am dealing with a sickness not with evolution uh, what do you think could have caused this thanks looking forward to hearing more so that's uh, Delamain taken care of, I think. And one more SG here. I'm not too bothered. It's probably cars. Oh no, it is actually a mission. But we'll come to that when we decide to do it. Anyway, let's go see what Judy wants. Hey, v. And we'll get a quick screenshot of her. Because she's looking pretty cool there. This when we're on. There we go. Come on, gung ho, onward. After all that went down, I thought you and I'd be ancient history. Don't be a gunk. <laughs> Any news from the Moxes? Events, ideas? No, no. Don't see all that much of them. How come? You know how they are. Piss me off sometimes, is all. So what's the latest from Clouds? You know anything? Nothing of any interest. We've got a new situation, and everybody's trying to adapt. <laughs> me too. Doesn't sound like it's all okay. Doesn't mm -hmm. mean it isn't. So why the long face? Something got you down all of a sudden? Um, no. Judy. Can we please not talk about clouds, the mocks, or Arasaka and Militech and how the world's going to shit? Just rather not think about any of that today. Anything dark. Okay, so, I mean, I know what we're doing here, clearly, by what you're wearing, but we'll ask it anyway, because so, we have to. Ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. Okay, um, how do you blend two uh, separate experience tracks? How does one marry two separate neural tracks? Well, at first I tried to create a single profile out of two data streams. Didn't turn out so great. Must have gotten tangled up. Interference, white noise. Yeah, effect was kind of like a bad art house. A couple tries in, though, I managed to isolate specific sensations. So you load them onto separate neural tracks. No emo bogeys. Not bad. Okay, just tell me what to do. What do I gotta do? You, my friend, are just gonna scroll me a virtue. That's it? Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This could be my greatest work ever. And also, um, if you read in her apartment, there's a thing which talks about her ideas. I didn't go through it with you on stream, but uh, there's this How thing there? where she writes down her ideas, and one of her ideas was to get two people's minds stream at the same time, so it's quite cool that this has happened to them right now. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why do we come all the way out of here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes man. Oh, it's Johnny scared of the water. You in? Oh, yeah, we're in, of course. But well, anyway, let's ask Johnny. Why would you say that? I don't know. Don't like the idea, that's all. It's just, when I think about the dark, the deep, 
palms that I don't fucking have get clammy with sweat I don't secrete. You're more than welcome to stay on shore. <laughs> I don't think he has a choice, mate. Um, yeah, of course. Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. So I'm assuming the video quality is much better for you. Oh look, there's our, um, our diving suits. All right, suit up, land lubber. Um, yeah. Uh, let's equip that. Let's get this scroller on you. <laughs> you didn't ask if I knew how to swim. You haven't even asked me if I know how to swim. <clears throat> Not worried I'll just sink to the bottom like a bag of rocks? 50-50 chance, I guess. Willing to risk it for the footage. How oh, fun. Water's toxic. That not a problem? Whole reason we're suiting up. All right. Let's do this. Freezing-ass water, here I come. Okay. We're all set. You go first. Oh, great. Uh, let's take a quick look at our character now that he's wearing that one. Oh my god, he's gone bald. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't usually look like that. Take a quick look on photo mood. Yeah, we've completely gone bald. Absolutely glorious egg on that. Anyway, let's go. Descend too fast. What do we look like actually? Where are we trying to get exactly? About halfway to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Once Something weird is happening right now. Now, why bother? I'll just stick close to you. But there we go, we're on the water. I'll get quick. Oh, yeah, this is really cool. I just want to see what we look like. That's so cool. I'm actually really happy with that. That's really awesome. I wonder if we'll find anything down here. And I have been thinking also about whether or not Judy is even into into males for the fit in the first place. Because we did read a thing that her and Maiko was a thing, so it might actually be that she's not into it anyway. Uh, let me just sort this out because we got to get the depth of field right. Actually, can't get right. I'll zoom in a bit on our character. There we go. Virtues are more to you than just a way to churn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs, they're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, cool. sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. Yeah, she's really into her BDs, isn't she? This is really cool though, we've not really had the chance to go underwater yet in the game. But it'd be cool to see if there's some like stuff under here that you wouldn't think of going. Going on find notes. What on earth is it? Swim over here and look straight at me, will you? Yeah. Great. Great. Signal's clear. Just need your help with a few basic checks. Need to calibrate our gear. First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me, swim. So we have to basically just swim around there. Great, motion calibrated. Back my way now, V. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song. You give me the title. Read me.
but I hear you just fine. Need a wider range. Levels can't be short of perfect. No idea what the song is, but I heard it. Go something like... Dissipate. Jesus, it's dark down there. Now grab this and hold on tight. <laughs> oh my god. If you did this in real life, it'd be so scary. Down we go. Oh, it is lowering as well. Look, we can see the um, the flares coming into view now. Impressive, huh? I had no idea. If you said we'd see a sunken town. Like it? I don't know. Sure as hell never seen anything like it, I can tell you that. It used to be called Laguna Bend. Just 15 years ago, people still lived here. What happened here? Why'd it get flooded? Cause someone stood to profit. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Why are you showing me this? Wanna get the right emotional reactions. Got a feeling this will be perfect for my experiment. Why does this stand to be perfect? Hoping you'll be able to pick up all the unfiltered mess of emotions this place brings out in me. Like it or not, you'll react to those feelings. That's what I want to capture. So I wonder if this uh, is somewhere maybe she used to live, maybe? Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time. Gear, stars weren't ever aligned. The truth is, the very idea just felt weird. They started playing that um, melody that she was humming. The bum bum. There it goes again. Flo's Diner, best eatery in town. <laughs> Only one at that, too. Burgers weren't amazing, too greasy. Big. Of course, I say that now. Back then, they were the best thing I'd ever chewed and swallowed. And next door, that's where we lived. Me and my grandparents. Just let me know when you want to forge ahead. Looks like this fell off your one and only eatery. Now, let's see. Childhood for you tasted like toasted marshmallows. They always caught fire, burned, but that never bothered you. That's nomad life for you. Can't be a fussy eater or you'll get no food at all. Anyway, all kinds of food tastes better with just a little burn. <laughs> it's quite cool that we can hear the audio of what would have sounded like. There we go, got something here. Fight with frame. It's a weird place for a framed picture. Water probably 
they carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? No, not much. I can't see anything. So we've got four things we need to look for. Okay, we found a camera. We've got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. You like it? You kidding? It's awesome. Let's take it then. Pick it up and take it as a souvenir. Ah, oh, we got something else here. Golf club, maybe? Looks like it. What have we got here that we can pick up? Medical forceps. There's a skating rink here. I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Which move did our move music of the view? Connie! Connie! Dead meat anyway! Anyway! Here, take this camera. Put it off in your hands and sit in here collecting algae. Gosh, thanks! About your parents. Dad was never in the picture. Mom died when I was tiny. Can barely remember her. I still have her picture, but you know, I see a stranger there. <laughs> oh, that's nice. What was that? Those voices. Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. Oh. She must have been um, bullied in school. What was it like living with your grandparents? How were they? Granddad had a real knack for things technical. Taught me everything I know. And the stories he told. Oh, never got bored listening to him. And Grandma was temperamental. Hot one second, cool as steel the next. Um, where are your grandparents now? Where'd your grandparents go? Night City? Yeah, for a couple years. Rented the unit that's mine now. But they hated the city. Moved up to Oregon. We still go and visit them sometimes. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. This is a really cool, chill level. Especially now that we're getting to know Judy better as well. Nah, can't hurt to look around though. Picking up very chill vibes. Seems like we're outside of time, like in a snow globe. Mm. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. Something over here. Disinfectants. Hard to imagine anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. <laughs> oh, that's what that is. It's an umbrella. Touche, Judy. Touche. Oh, we got over here. Old, uh, civilian. Gotta say, I don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. Not in much better shape. Good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. <laughs> this is this like a little childhood game, Max Tack and Psychos? Can we go back here, or is this like not allowed? Oh, can I go up? No, I'm assuming it wants us to stick around this type of area. I'm getting something that I can... Where is it? Oh, old umbrella, we've already looked at that. Got one more clue to get. But I'm not too sure where it is. Maybe it's on the roof. Oh no, this isn't even a roof. Oh wait, yeah it is. Maybe it is in the back. Maybe it's something all the way back here. 
see a bit of light, so I don't know if Judy's gonna get angry at me for moving so far away. No, nothing there. I do you like this though? This is really cool. Like, I probably never would have found this. If you just left me to my own devices, there's no chance I would have found a random little uh, village or little town underneath here. Search for clues near the gas station, we're still missing one. It's like the run down cars. I can't see anything. Maybe if we get closer to Judy, just get that there first. I take it this is a vintage. Let's get closer to Judy, and maybe if we look around from her perspective, we'll find some ah, just saw something there. What's this here? What, this isn't yours? Poor thing. Been here all alone for 20 years. So it is yours. No. It was Jenny Chapman's. Miss Jenny. You took her doll. You took her doll. As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it. Why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Ah, the oh. days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. <laughs> Can I pick this up? Want to see what's further on? Come on, then. Want to show you something? Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid, where daily life grinded along. You can imagine it a bit. <laughs> I like that the fact that she's dropping. Church hasn't aged at all. My god. It's always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. Like Bells were cracked too. Gave off this eerie atonal clang. Weird. I had no memory of that second ago. Now I can almost hear him. Me too. I don't know how it's possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously, you can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. So it seems like ah, they closed. Shame. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. Okay, Did so what like was the say? Is... Never actually went to church. <laughs> Never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know. Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Did it achieve anything? <sighs> Look around. <laughs> yeah, what I was about to say is it seems like people don't actually know what these BDs are capable of. Like the technology um, has certain limitations and they're not even... Well, it has limitations, but they're not aware of how far it can go. So she's like, you can hear my memories. I'm like, yeah, we can hear your memories. Um, but she's really into her BDs. So... It's interesting that she wouldn't actually know that that could be a side effect. Anyway, we found a way in. I found an opening. I think we're safe to go through here. I was going to have a bit more of a look around, but I guess there's nothing here. Oh, you got another way in. Snuck in here once when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind, looking at all those people. Let me go here. Back it's like then, I wondered helpful. how he could read people's thoughts and know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. <laughs> Oh, 
What's this? Oh, this is the worst place for a relic malfunction. <laughs> Judy, you might have to help us out if something bad happens. That's here. Um, can't hear you too well. You didn't get chased off. Ran out myself. Echo, I got back scared. Oh. I thought it was that crush I had on Jenny Chapman. All that guilt I tried yelling out, it was flew right back in my face. Ah! Oh my god, worst possible time, Johnny. <laughs> v, please. please! Oh, thank oh, fuck. fuck. You're alive. You passed out. How'd you manage to lift me out? Dunno, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful, easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? Oh, she can still hear him. Oh, that's amazing. So you heard him? You heard him? Uh, heard's overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Uh, ignore him. <laughs> Please just ignore his babbling. It's a complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Um, stay where exactly? Stay where exactly? We gonna camp on the shore? No, in there. Crash there sometimes after dives. How about it? Um. Does seem like why, why not? The hell not? So if you try anything, whose I'm cottage to is that then? You said you, you knew the owner, Judy. One of our neighbors was hell bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. What do we have in here? Quick little look around. Some bounce back. You must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. Thank you. How do you take yours? Uh, strong. Sugar with milk. With milk and sugar. With milk and sugar. Milk and sugar, please. Going all in, huh? Ah, forgot to start the generator. So I'm assuming the fact there was a bed here, this could lead somewhere, but like I've said, we are going to, um, to, you know, definitely not do anything. Because, you know, we're with Penam, and that's just how it is. Got a latte here. I've already found a drink, Judy. I'm alright. It's an old latte. Crime block. What's this? McCrone scanned the room with a deft Kuroshi sweep. The corpse was no different from the dozens he'd seen over the years. The dead man's eyes frozen in fear, his ligaments, wires and intestines strewn about the floor. Uh, none of it made any impact on McCrone anymore. I've lived too long, he thought. And cops who don't die quick usually find themselves playing for the other side eventually. The case is as clear as a used napkin. So what is this exactly? I'm going to leave that. I thought it might be something to do with um, the old village maybe that we've just seen, but it doesn't seem too important, so I'm going to leave it. A generator, how luxurious. A generator? What's next? Jacuzzi? Finnish sauna? No, but there is running water. I can turn it on. You're going to take it easy. Promise to take it slow. 
Alright, let's go and get the um, the generator. I don't know if we're still linked Most up. Most people from the town. It's depressing. Most nomads have a story like that. And all of them begin with the same thing. Displacement. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's so cool. That's what she said to us before the uh, the big heist with with Jackie. Powers up. Your little spa is open for business. Judy. Connection lost. She all right? I hope she's okay. What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. <laughs> Isn't that the bathroom? I mean, I don't think it's right to just open the door. Is she on the... Oh, okay. Are you okay? What's wrong? You're still thinking about Evelyn, aren't you? You thinking about Evelyn? Clouds has gone to shit. Tiger Claw Nonex took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. I don't know Tom died. Until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. Didn't want to tell you. Didn't want you to think I blame you in any way. Why would you even assume I'd think that? Dunno, I... Uh, I'm sorry. Let's just kill the subject. I think I'll go lie down. I'm beat. All right. So uh, we sleeping on the couch. Hey, you you can take the bed, you know. I don't know if we can tell her that she can take the bed if she wants. How do we talk to her? Girl, okay, we talk to her. She gets on my nerves. That's you and me below. Let's call you. Wake her up. Why? Judy pisses you off. Why? Because she cares about people? And that reminds you you're a narcissistic asshole? She's all over the place. Refuses to take the door, jumps out a window, then acts all surprised when she gets hurt. She reminds you of all, doesn't she? Oh, for no, nobody's even close to Alt and what me and her had. Let's get the fuck away, can we? No, we're not about to leave her alone. You fucking blow if you can. Not about to leave her alone, middle of nowhere. No, I can't talk to you when you get this sentimental waste of words. At least take a nap so we don't have to argue. Yeah, no worries, we will. Tell you what, he gets to be a bit of a prick sometimes, doesn't he, Johnny? Oh, great. <laughs> I'm actually naked, which means basically we gotta do the rest. Oh, pick up clothes, cool, really. That's great. So am I no longer naked? Oh great, that's brilliant. I'm gonna check this really quick. If you see something that's not my fault, it's the game's fault. Let's pick up these ideas. Um anything else in here? I didn't get to have any uh, coffee as well. I guess we were just about to go to sleep, so that would have been a bit of a strange thing to do. Of all places for an EMP grenade to be. <laughs> what we got over here? Some more eddies. Pretty sure we're not going to find anything amazing in here. Although I did notice when I watched one of the streams, because the one where we took over clouds, that I missed out on a legendary... Um, what was it? A legendary... Oh, 
forgot what's called. Oh, Katana. Yeah, we missed out on the legendary Katana. Basically because I just didn't see it, which is a bit of a shame. But luckily we're not really a Katana build, so I'm not too annoyed about it. Definitely would have been good to it's add to the collection though. Is it coffee? Morning. Finally. <clears throat> you know, yesterday I think I'd made up my mind. I actually called you because I wanted to say goodbye. Where you going? chewed me up. And spit me out. Uh, what you're trying to say? You're crazy, I'll miss you. Uh, people shouldn't live so cramped together on top of each other. Let's have our coffee to wake us up. A bit early in the morning to this heavy chat. <laughs> I think it might do her good, to be honest with you. You know why I came to Night City? Because I thought it offered opportunities you couldn't come by anywhere else. Now, it feels like I'm standing in quicksand. There's no way to live. For anyone. I feel you. I... I can't leave Night City. Not yet. But someday... Who knows? Give me your hand, B. What for? Why? What for? Don't say anything. Just give me your hand. Alright. Uploading biometric data. All set. Congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa. Oh. You're asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Uh, you sure? Sure about this? We haven't known each other that long. I like you. Consider you a friend. The way I see it, there's nothing else to consider. Take care, B. Oh, that's really nice. It's really it. Last time we see each other. Didn't seem so set on leaving just a sec ago. See no reason to delay. I'll stay here a couple days, then head off. It's been nice knowing you, B. See ya. And hit me up on the hollow sometimes. Wow, okay. Um, See you, Judy. So it seems like Judy's probably leaving like city, and to be honest with you, it might be the best thing. Because so far, everyone in the um, the prologue has ended up dead, and obviously Judy was in the prologue, so um, let's call our vehicle. So maybe she leaves, she'll be alright. I am really worried though, that maybe like as she's about to leave. Uh, something terrible happened, maybe. A hologram? What the hell happened there? What? Let me Guys, in. But don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun. That's cool. We actually saw it open up, and usually you can't see it. Oh my god! I wish they lifted up the first-person view inside the vehicle. Oh, this is really nice piano music. All right, guys, just really, really quick. Um, I'm just going to take a quick break once you many coffees and then we'll go and do the next mission but I'll be right back, see you in just a moment in fact what I'll do is I'll probably leave you on uh, photo mode just so you actually have like, something more interesting to look at there you go see you in a moment
All right, and we're back starting with that. So let's have a little plan. What are we doing here? Not really thought about what missions we want to do. Uh, let's just go to the journal. So we've got the beast in me. This is outside of um, of Claire's little area where she lives. Violence. Meet with the mysterious clients at the Notel Motel. Chip and then go to the afterlife. Yeah, this is it, Rogue. Oh, this is for the um, Adam Smasher, isn't it? Send in the clowns. Uh, I don't know, maybe that one. Killing in the name. Investigate the site from the Bart Moss Collective message. Colo Mirage. See where the coordinates lead. Let's go do that now. How far are we? Oh, we're not too far. We could do this on the way as well. In fact, let's actually do that. Let's just do it via the map and we'll just sort of do things that are close to us. We should be able to get there fairly quickly in this lovely supercar. radio station are we on right now? Pacific Dreams. I kind of like the um, the instrumental stuff on this one. So far, my two favourites are The Dirge and Pacific Dreams. Um, I think this is definitely a lot more chill. But The Dirge is like, when you want to get hyped, I mean, you've just got to go, oh my god, look the city from here. What I was going to say is, when you want to get hyped, I think the dead is definitely the answer. But if you just want a little bit of chill, the Pacific, um, the Pacific is quite good. <laughs> I wish it was actually like that. <laughs> that would be really cool if the uh, the traffic was that dense. Oh, this is where we um, we did the mission of Pan Am, isn't it? Oh, that's a great picture of the city. That's really cool. Look at all these old abandoned cars as well. It's apparently the area where cars go to die. We got down here. Ah, oh, you can actually see people as well. Like, it kind of simulates uh, loads of people. I mean, that looks like absolute junk, but I mean, from afar, it works. I'm just going to get a quick picture of the city because this is really nice. Now, shall we get one with our character in it, maybe? Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. The Lone Nomad. On a journey nomad has ever been on before. Uh, let's get that feel of you right the way down. And zoom out the camera. Maybe field of view needs to go a little bit up. 25. That's quite nice right there. There we go. I'd say since we're only doing side missions today, it, I am like pretty chill with my streams. I don't mind if we just take a few photos and meander about. It's usually when we're doing the um, the actual storyline where I'm like, right, focus. this is what we're doing. I'm in a really chilled mood right now. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to just drive around, do side missions, and also taking them in the sights when you get a scenic view like that. Why not? This instrumental is so nice though. I don't know if it's the thing, but the driving feels a bit better as well. <laughs> I say as I crash. <laughs> no, I can feel quite good. Oh my god, oh my gosh. Just 
stadium love here. Oh my god, that's like called absolute mayhem. <laughs> Somehow the rubbish went on fire. <laughs> it was crashing into it. Corpo thieves must die. They sound like they're having some fun up there. You tell me you're living in the big world. Uh, where are we going? Let's see what's on the map, in, in fact. Ah, we actually have a Ripper Dock over here. After we've done this mission, we'll go see what this Ripper Dock and weapon store is selling. Any more Second Amendment fans in the house? Huh? Um, I'd like to join in. Ah, all right, how am I getting up here? I could jump off that, maybe. Max stock. Yeah, we can make that, I reckon. The hell you want? Is that a true Nothing. question? This is a party, right? Invitation only. For those who bleed red, white, and blue. So fuck off. That's not very nice. It's meant to be a party. Um. Here for some fun, mate. Chill. Just wanted to have a good time. Oh, Drink bro. beer, smoke. This looked like a fucking neighborhood picnic to you. Chum, you're a little tense. Something wrong. Problems at home. <laughs> oh, you're a jokester, huh? You looking for a good laugh? Yeah, we all want a good laugh, Walker. Such a nice day, everyone having a good time. Like a little Fourth of July. <clears throat> be a shame to tell Gunner someone fucked it up, you know? Yeah, I know. Fine. That's my tomb. Go drink, enjoy yourself. Celebrate you. that decent score of yours. Uh, so, are you having a little competition here? You got some kind of competition going on? Yeah. Lead spitting kind. I want in. Shit out of luck. We're about to call it. What? You scared I'd leave you all in the dust. <laughs> Do you know who you're fucking talking to? Hmm? I've been deployed three times. Three! I fought on the front lines. Easy, Walker. What'd I say, huh? We're just here to have a good time. You got something to prove? Be our guest. <laughs> It'll be fun. Alright. Um... So what are the rules? And the rules of the game? Now this ain't your average shooting match. You gotta have a good eye, but an even stronger head. Because? Because we all drink around before each shot. To Gunner, the new boss in town. I like the sound of that. Anything else I should know? Four stations. You shoot at the targets with Holt's face in the time limit. The more bootlickers you pop, the better. High score so far belongs to Walker. 43 points. You beat him. Prize is yours. Oh, cool. What's the prize? Um, obviously, we're going to do it. Let's shoot this shit out of Holt. Just as I thought. You look to me like a show off. Let's see what you got. All right. Take this revolver. Use it if you want your shots to count. We're testing skill, not tech here. Go ahead to the first station. We'll start Fair whenever enough. you're ready. Break a leg. Yeah, it's fine by me. I don't really use sex pistols anyway, so that's fine by me. Um, that's actually... What the hell? Uh, she's not wearing any underwear. Oh, she is. Okay, I was going to say. That would have been the first time I've ever actually seen some proper um, nudity. Can I save the game here? Let's see. I'd like to save it. I'll save it right now, apparently. I'll do a quick save. So we can... Weasel our way out of this. Oh, okay. Well, come on, drink. I will be. Let's. I'm just. I want to save. Oh, oh well. Looks like we don't really have a choice. What I'm wondering is if we can use our slow motion stand the this stand for this. We have to shoot these. I would assume.
Yeah. Twelve seconds. Go. No, 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 no. Oh, we can't draw. Just don't go past the line when shooting. Automatic disqualification. Yeah, we can actually slow it down. Well, that's cool. I don't. Know. I don't know if it helps us or not. Maybe the timer keeps on going. Stop! Time's up. Next station. Oh, we got eleven out of eleven. Cool. Let's see if we're cheating a little bit here by using our sand of this hand, but I mean, I see nothing wrong with it. Anyone down here that I can like, land on? Um, Alright, let's go up here. And run up here? Looks like it. I jump up there. Oh, hello. Hey, hey, vodka first! Then you blast hold a new one! Who's Holt, by the way? Have I I'm seen him before? You, man. The breeze! Whoosh! Throw it all off! I don't know if we have Santa Vist on still. Uh, what the hell is this? Rubbing Who alcohol? Who cares? Shoot! You got 12 seconds! Oh, we do have it as well. Shoot, you're out of the game! Hey! But, but I said my finger slipped. <laughs> We're definitely cheating here, aren't we? And stop! You had your chance, Rudy. Oh, fucking fair. Finish shooting before their um, conversation was over. So cool, though, that you can use that. Like, I thought it would have um, basically said, no, 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 you're not allowed to use that. The fact that it kind of let us do it. I just think that's really cool. So we've got an advantage, but... At the end of the day, we have to pay for it, don't we? Let's see, uh... Down the hatch! To gunner! Just give me a second, I'll just let my Sander Vista... <laughs> I'll let my Sander Vista there... Um, come back, he got some path pistol ammo here, I'll take that. Just gonna give it a little moment, just in case I haven't got it back yet. How many have we got here? So, we'll go that, 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 and then go across... Got another one down there, and then three down. All right, All right. Should have came back by now. So let's down the hatch. Ugh. You got twelve line. seconds. Go, go, go. Hey, throw that line. We don't like cheaters here. Do you know what? I should actually um, reload before. Got a little one down there, don't we? Come on, one more. Get no, in. So we got 11 out of 11 there. Again. Who are these, by the way? Sixth Street Gang, okay. Here. And this is our final one, I think. One more round. Drink. Oh, I'm going to throw up. Let's have interest. Can we save it now? No, it's not letting us. All right. One moment. I'm just letting my stand a bit down. What on earth? Causing absolute mayhem here. I'm just going to let my stand a bit down come back. Just to be a little cheat. I can't even get to it, mate, because of the stupid thing. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, so warm. What else would it be in this heat? Shoot! 12 seconds. Don't forget the line! One go over and you're gone! Yes, I know the line. Don't you worry about me and the line. Oh, we're gonna beat him. Time's up. That's it. Go check your stats. We drew with him, but we couldn't have got any more. Said his record was forty-four. We got everyone ourselves, so no, oh. there wasn't any more to get. So surely we won. Wait a minute. Where are we going here? This map is being a bit weird. 
Are we going this way? I'm going to keep the mouse and keyboard on just for now, just because I don't know if he's going to be angry at us for beating him or not. Healthier. I don't think that's a good sign, is it? I don't know if this map got us going. No, over here, this is where we talk to them. Yeah. Yeah, I remember these dancing. Okay. Now let's see. First place by a landslide. Here. Won it fair and square. The hell? Not fucking possible. Not gonna lie. I'm impressed. You know, Six Street could use a few more shooters like you. I'm sure Gunner'd like to meet you. Take you under his wing, probably. Who's gonna? <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. I can jump off a mega building. Can I grab this now? I'm flattered, really. But I gotta say no. It's not for me. Understood. We had a little fun today. Drank together. But I see you on the street later, it won't make no difference. You're either with us or against us. I'll keep that in mind. And for the winner, with Gunner's congratulations. Woohoo! And USA! And USA! Take this now. Oh, I can as well. So cool. And now, let's drink! Six Street! Six oh, Street! Oh, yeah. Let's take that. It's so good. Um, I'm a big fan of the assault rifles as well, so that is pretty much my weapon of choice now, probably. Although I do like it when they do thermal damage, and the one I currently have is nowhere near as good damage as that. But it does thermal damage. So it's a kind of, um, I mean, I'll definitely be using the legendary one, let's be real, but... I'm hoping it does thermal damage. Let's just go check that now. Oh no, wrong one. There we go. So let's get rid of this. Put back on our legendary pistol. See here, thermal damage 13 to 15. And the one we just picked up was it this? Divided we stand. Yeah, it was this, wasn't it? So this is rare and iconic. What mods do I have? I don't have any. What does it do? Chemical damage, critical chance, 18%, poison chance, and headshot multiplier of 1. A modified automatic targeting system. Um, where, where's that? Allows the weapon to target up to 5 targets simultaneously. Bullets deal chemical damage with a high chance to apply poison. Wait a minute, what? Allows the weapon to target up to 5 targets simultaneously how does that work be a patriot express your support for the second amendment <laughs> well, let's give this thing a go oh is it so this might be our first smart weapon that we might actually use let's just go look at that again Oh, it is smart as well. Hones in on targets with self-guided micro-projectiles. It's really interesting. We've not really used a smart gun yet. But it can target up to five simultaneously, which is... I mean, we've not even looked at that yet, so that's pretty cool. Definitely give it a go in our next mission. Let's go get our car, and while we're waiting for it to come... See what we're close by. Just zoom out so we can actually see main missions. Family matters. Go to Juliet's home. Who's Juliet? I don't even remember. We was going to do this one, wasn't we? Where is it? Go to the, to the landfill. Oh, in fact... Forget that for a minute. We still have to go see this ripper dock and see what he has. Pop that away for a moment.
And another downside of obviously recording on, well, streaming direct from Stadia is I don't have quick access to muting uh, my microphone. So when I was streaming from using OBS, if I need to like clear my throat or something, I'd just mute the microphone with like a, a key binding that I saved. But obviously with this, I'd have to do, go through the whole rigmarole, clicking the button and actually finding that mute button through Stadia, which is a bit of a nuisance. So if I had to clear my throat, you know, I do apologize if that comes through and I'm not a big fan of uh, <laughs> bodily noises, <laughs> natural bodily noises. I'm not doing it on purpose, just, you know, sometimes you've got to clear your throat. It's like a little doctor's area, isn't it? I'm guessing relating to the Ripper Dock. You are. You're getting something done here, you'd feel like you catch something, wouldn't you? <laughs> go here. Wipe out these like movies. Huh. Maya, Maya must help you out a lot here. I helps out a lot here. <laughs> She's an incurable workaholic. I have to remind her again and again about her health. <clears throat> yeah, she's passionate, but she can also get under your skin. Please, don't say that. She has saved a lot of people here and expanded the services we offer. Um, I can help you out with money? Where'd you fall on tough times? <laughs> That's an understatement. We will be grateful for any support. Okay, apparently I can't actually support them in any way. You're running tight on gear? This is a North Oak, as you can see. But as many of my clients say, it's better than nothing. Need some ripper work done. Let's see what he's got. Uh-huh. Let's have a look then, shall we? So in terms of operating system... Um, these are the ones we already have, aren't they? So this is a Zeta Tech Sandvistan. So essentially it slows down time. Oh, it slows time to 50%. So it's 50%, where, whereas mine is uh, 25%. But that lasts for 12 seconds. And has a cooldown of 30 seconds, whereas mine lasts for 16 seconds, so you, you get four whole extra seconds, and the cooldown's a bit shorter. And you have loads of perks with that one as well, so this one just increases critical... Yeah, critical chance by 15%, where this one has a whole load of things, like enemies take longer to see you, uh, increases critical chance, reduces... Uh, Sand of Istan cooldown. Then again, I think that's uh, things that we've added to it, comes to think of it. All right, so he's not got anything there that we're too interested in. I'm assuming there'll be nothing new here. Well, the circulatory system. Oh, we need the uh, 16 technical ability for that. Um, so that's an upgrade for this, isn't it? So when your health drops to 15%, release an electroshock that deals damage equal to 50% of the target's, target's enemy's max health. Apply shock to enemies. That's really cool. I'm assuming that's why every time we die, you get that big electroshock thing that happens. Um, really, really quick. We could actually get that. Um... Oh no, we can't. I don't have the points. Alright. That's a shame. But we can get some other helpful things like Blood Pump. Activate to instantly restore 60% of max health. Assign Cyberware to quick slots and activate it with R1. Now that wouldn't work because we've actually already got the, uh, the shooting thing out the side of our arm. The projectile launcher. Increases the breach time of breach protocol by 100%. I mean, it's really cheap, so why not? What's this here? Adrenaline booster increase, uh, instantly restores 20% stamina when you defeat an enemy. Not really 
useful to this build. If we were like a um, a melee build, definitely. He doesn't have anything here. Do we have any upgrades over here? Got some stuff that I've not seen before. This is an old Karanzikov. Allows you to aim and shoot while dodging. Slows time by 50%. So this one slows time by 60% for slightly longer. It slows time by 60% for 2.5 seconds when health drops to 25%. And we got this one. Increases in evasion by 6%. What have we got here? Increases Sander Vistan and Karanzikov duration by 0 0.5 seconds. Oh, that wouldn't be a bad one. Gives you enough time to um, basically get yourself out of trouble, doesn't it? But I'm not sure. Let's leave it for now. In fact, do you know what? It's not even that that expensive. We could just get it, and if we don't use it, that's fine. Let's get it. Because we do have a bit of money. It increases armor by 90. It's not bad. We got another one here. Grants immunity to bleeding. Yeah, let's grab that. Since we do have the dough. What do you have on here? Oh, do you have an upgraded la projectile launch system? That's cool. So what's the difference between the two? Oh, this one has an extra mod slot. slot. It's quite expensive, but I am a big fan of this. I might actually get it because I love the projectile launcher. And uh, it might come in handy when we fight Smasher later on. Yeah, let's get it. Okay, so that's just a big load of money that's just been dropped on his lap. We don't want that. What we got for hands? So right now we have the allows you to use the smart targeting module in smart weapons. Directly links to use his optical implant. Yep, cool. Increases the chance of ricochet. Allows you to use smart targeting module in smart weapons. Directly links. Yeah, so this is just an upgraded version. I'm not sure what the difference is between the two, unless it sort of allows you to target more critical areas of the the human body, potentially. Hmm. Let's go for it. Okay, so we've upgraded a few things there. We have frontal cortex as well, what we need to look at. Uh, increased damage to drones, increases cyber deck RAM recovery rates. That wouldn't be a bad one, but we need at least 10 intelligence. So maybe that's where we want to put some of our some of our points next, because I think at this point in the game, it, we definitely should have better intelligence. And we have someone over here, somewhere, probably below us. Maybe they're in this building, potentially. Ah, I see. I just want to see what they have. Hey. So how's business? How's biz? Can't complain. People in Night City rather die of hunger than walk around with last gen iron. Looking for some fresh iron. Look no further, I've got you covered. Okay, so, oh, we have a legendary here. Crusher, legendary bullets can rich, ricochet off surfaces. Ah, this does do thermal damage as well. 160,000. What I would like to do is I would like to actually get all of our weapon slots all legendary. So that's what I'm kind of working for. So that, like, rest of the storyline, we can have a lot of fun with that. Chemical damage, critical chance. Uh, can we compare these two? Ah, there we go, good. So this does much better damage. 76,000. It's going to be very expensive to upgrade all of these. But it might be worth it. Mm. I don't know. Obviously we can't afford it right now. I'm just, I'll make a mental note of 
some of the things that are here. All right, let's leave them. Wait, wait, I wasn't finished. You speaking to me? Well, I am. <laughs> Alright, let's run down here and have a look at what we're close to. So, go to Juliet's home. Let's try this one. Oh, this is actually... Um, oh no, I've just, for a moment there, I got mixed up with Judy. Anyway, so family matters, go to Juliet's home. 400 meters away, so we'll just call the car. I'm not sure. Driving around these parts in this vehicle would be the most sensible thing. But well, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, oh. Holy shit, man. What a state of it. Look at that fish tail, then. Very aggressive. Who the hell is this? Oh, is this the area that we visited with um with the fella who essentially got what was it? Let me just check the back. I think it is. Yeah, it is. This is the area that we visited with oh I forgot his name, but we had to do that weird level with the cross where we nailed him to the cross. Oh my god. Are we breaking in here? That's, oh no. I mean, why are we doing this? What's this? Let me just go check this really quick. What is this to do with? Let's get a little bit of insight into why we're here. It is a gig. So gig type, search and recover, yeah. So retrieve the Zeta Tech Data Julia Tarrenson. Oh no, it's nothing to do with him. It looks like exactly the same house. I must be just getting mixed up because it looks really similar. Uh, I'd like everyone to know I'm patient, understanding. I realise there's a time for work and a time for family. Without good work-life balance, we'd all blast our brains out. I get it, I do, but disappearing for two weeks because of family issues, that's how Juliet thinks of me how much she respects me. I love her because she's ripped so much Nova data out of Zeta Tech for me, but man, she's starting to hurt my feelings, you know? Uh, go to her place, see what see what her deal is, but remember, priority is that data she still owes me. Juliet's Nova and all, but if she's got a problem with that, well, like I said, data is prior one, priority one. All right. So we've got someone in here right now. I'm assuming if we get caught. The big issues. Where are you? Maybe she's above? Is she hiding underneath here? On the map it doesn't say she's high. I can't see any arrow. Well, that's weird. <sighs> Oh, she's not over here. Alright, so she must be above. Oh no, okay, it's not that, yeah. It, see, on the, um, the mission where we had to do the um, crucifix stuff, the really weird mission, when you walked out there was this uh, area which looked exactly like this, but except this was further back. So that's why I've gotten a bit confused. Got oh, here. Test results, let's give them a read. HGB, I'm not sure what this means. 
Let's read the comments. Uh, PLC and TSH slightly exceeded. No medical consultation is needed. However, regarding the patient's worsening state of mind, uh, psychological psychological consultation is advised. I was just um, referring to Juliet. This place a quick look. And use this. What do we have on the local network? I'm not sure what we're turning off. Oh, camera one basements. Is that where she is? Potentially? Is this Julia? Yes, it is. Okay. Tag that. Oh gosh, who are you? Rose Harrison? Why? Why would you do this to me? She looks unhinged. Maybe she's like a cyber psycho. Oh, it hurts! Spikes in my mama, my skull! You, you did this, Juliet! This is a poison! <laughs> just keep an eye on her just for a moment. See what she says. Maybe she has the chip in her head. I'd love a quick read on that. So abilities combat stem. She can do break hold, Sandivist and Mark 1. So she has the um, the slow motion sex suit and she has charged jump. Weak to electricity. We actually have a bat on, I think, in our inventory. Where are you going? You heading upstairs? Oh no, she's just going round in circles, alright. Let's exit this. And, um, if away, there we go. Let's actually turn that off. Go to messages. Uh, Julie, oh my god, it's been ages. How's life? Guess I'm. Oh, this is Rose as well, the person who seems unhinged downstairs speaking to Juliet. Um, uh, guess I'm writing, writing with something on my mind. Remember when we were kids, we played on that old dam. Uh, we'd shout our names, some of us stupid stuff, then listen for the echoes. How our vo voices carried through the valley. Sometimes I still feel like I can hear them. Different strange words, like returning from a long trip out of town. Funny, right? I don't know, Julie. Truth is everything. Uh, truth is everything's going off the rails. I feel worse and worse. Losing my job certainly didn't help. And uh, what the hell good was the new cyberware for? Okay, so she's got new cyberware. That might be the problem as well. Uh, I hope I'm not scaring you, asking you too much, but was thinking how nice it'd be to hear your voice. Not just some echo of it. Maybe that's what I need to... Uh, to get right again. Rose. Rosie, of course I remember the dam. Even the time we tried to kick that gonk, Benny Dillard, and his drone off it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and yeah, I did hear about your job. I'm really sorry. That sucks so hard. But listen, I've been talking to my CY, and we agree you should stay with us for a while, uh, at least until you feel better. Come on, just like old times, Julie. I'm starting to like this less and less. Let's stay on our toes. Excuse me. Um, why did Johnny just come up? Maybe it's to do with this message. Oh, this is Vic. Oh, this will be interesting. So Vic Vector to Juliet Harrington. Uh, Miss Harrington, I'm happy you returned to me instead of those clean cut scam artists. Uh, but I am sorry, I don't have good news for you. The symptoms you described indicate a serious disorder that will continue to progress regardless of next steps taken. Uh, in cases like this, I'm afraid no level of help will give your sister... Sorry, no level of help you give your sister will do much good. The only real cure is one of the, is one of the two max tack ways if you understand my meaning, so basically someone coming to um, put her down. It's good you reached out to me, 
but it's best if you contact them next. The quicker they get on this, the safer it will be for everyone around it, including you, Vic Vector. So Victor's already told her she's probably going to get a really bad uh, case of cyberpsychosis. This is clear, speaking to Juliet now. Uh, Julie, since yesterday, Rose has called me 40 times, but all I ever hear on the line is erratic breathing, and I never get a response when I call her back. Do you know what's going on? I'm really worried, love, Mum. Uh, hey, Mum, everything's all right. You know, Rosie, when you have a hundred implants like she does, chances are at least one's got a chip loose somewhere. Don't worry about it. We've got everything under control. Love ya, Juliet. So this has ended up in tragedy. Uh, Julie, it's all okay. Been a while. We talked last and... I got a few jobs I can't trust anyone else with. Uh, plus, there's still the matter of Mr. KT's data. Right back quick. It's time eight on our side on this one, El Capitan. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. A safe behind a painting. A little cliche. But hey, at least the Merc appreciates the arts. You could learn a thing or two. I'm wondering more how it ended up on the ground. Juliet must have been in a hurry. Yeah. Something twisted happened here, V. <laughs> if life's taught me one thing, it's that a safe's a good spot to hide your valuables. It's got a reader, too. Must be an access shard around. I wonder who has it. Let's get down here. Let's also equip. This might be a good time to try out the uh, the weapon we've just got as well. Let's equip. Just for when we actually get a uh, health down. Oh damn it! We only have the cotton mouth. I have to do. We had a baton somewhere that was higher damage, but that'll do for now. She's downstairs, isn't she? I don't know how you get downstairs, but we may as well go check up here before we move forward. Here to be anything in here? Oh, hang on, we got some medication. Better look around. Impressive pharmacy. Didn't even know this stuff was still on the black market. All these pills are downers. They're what you get if you can afford better. Hell of a lot for one person here. Drowsiness, dizziness. What's that? Potent black market sedatives. All right. else in here right now another room over here to the left what a mess reeks too usual Make hallmarks coffee, mate. Mark's room stop there hmm almost completely <laughs> used up not something you'd keep in your medicine cabinet Oh shit. Someone took a nasty hit on this. Signs of a struggle. To put it mildly. How do you see I didn't see the blood actually. Oh, here, here it is. Uh, someone got whacked on the head. Maybe bang the head on the side. Oh, I don't know if this is going to have the same stuff. Rosie Harrison's journal. And it soared into me like to the parade, my friend, let's fly. Kiss my forehead, lift me up, touch the sky. And af um, after all we can miss, it can... Sorry, after all, we can miss it, can we, little sister? Rosie, sorry, Rosie is BSO, thankfully. I'm not making any sense of this. My beloved baby sister, fucking core. 
won't understand this. Now you only listen to Julie and the echo, 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 echo. It says you have to see the parade in Japantown. Without us, the party burns. To the parade, my friend, let's fly. Okay, so this is after the parade, what we did with Sakamura. It's a bit confusing. Yeah, we've read that one. Okay, this is a reminder for your upcoming appointments at Clean Cuts. Oh, she's got loads of reminders for appointments and she hasn't went to any of them. A minute. Yes, yeah, since 2076. She's been getting reminders, but left them. Okay. Oh, it's clearly been a while and she's just left it to go worse. So how do we get down here? Is it this? Ah, I think we found our way down. What's this? I hope we can talk to her. She's right here. Second degree murder, distribution of military grade pharmaceuticals and grand theft. Juliet, why? Why would you do this to me? Uh, can we actually talk to her? I don't think we can, to be honest with you. To be a quiet day. Oh my god, this gun's sick, man. Alright, before we. Oh damn it, she's about to lay a hit on us, like... I don't want to kill her. Come on, fall down, there we go. Guys, that is danger out of the way. She's basically clipping through the wall, which is a bit annoying. Right, let's get the machete. And read that. Rose, hey you there. I saw the lights on in your house. I know you're not sleeping. Uh, who is this? Rose, I live facing you. You have to help me. Now, they want to kill me. Hold on, what's going on? Who wants to kill you? Uh, Julie and her husband. They work for the corpse. They're trying to poison me with poison gas capsules in my... Uh, please, you have to. Ha Sorry, po poison gas capsules in my bedroom. Please, you have to help me. Uh, have you been drinking, taking anything? You don't get it. They're the ones doing this to me. They took my hold. Sorry, they took my hollow so I couldn't call anyone. Uh, cool your tits, lady, okay? People are trying to sleep here. Uh, the police is also in on it. Uh, I'm begging you, please. You've been blocked by Bernard Ackerman. I'll tell you what, she was just not in the best place, was she? So, um, get this back. I'm already, I'm really happy with this gun. Why can't I? There we go. Let's put that away. A bit lighter. Let's have a look around before we go straight to Julie. Not Julie, uh, Juliet. Illness diary. At day 69, high temp migraines, delirious, delirious again, difficulty speaking. Rosie hasn't complained of pain. She's eating and talking normally again. Maybe the new pills are finally working. So this is just basically here taking notes and seeing if it helps. Let's just skip right to the end. Uh, another attack had to give it four times the normal dose. Why do I bother? I can't do this anymore. So she really should have taken Vic Vector's um, advice there, or you no, know, Victor maybe could have put her up with Regina if he knows her. And maybe Regina could help solve this issue. Let's 
Kisten vom Bucky. Okay, jetzt mal Max Dock. So, everything. What's this for? Oh, just a generator system. I'm assuming we could have used these in the battle if we actually had hacking capabilities. It's just a way out. Uh, there was something here that I wanted to check. The computer, that was it. Let's have a quick use of this. Local network, camera, yeah, we've already got that. We have an order confirmation here. This is off med store from Julia Harrison. Your order has been approved. Please keep this confirmation for your records. Your order will be shipped. I'm assuming this is like, oh yeah, there it is right there. Uh, the Better Hallow Peridol. Which is to do with cyberpsychosis. Oh, we had to look for the chip as well, didn't we? Oh, well, I'm assuming the chip is in the safe. So let's go and do that. Yeah, we got shard and we also have a gun here. Epic pistol. And shard. Have bad luck all the time. Final little look around. We have a little message here again. I'm sorry. Jules, please forgive me for how I'm doing this. I'm nowhere near as tough as you and I can't pretend to be anymore. I hate to say it, but there's no helping Rose anymore. So at least help yourself before it's too late. This doesn't see why. Is this like a husband or something? If you change your mind, I'll be waiting for you at Sunset Motel. Think on it again, please. Yeah, I think that's everything. So let's head to this drop point. How far is it? 225. Well, they won't be needing the car anymore, so we'll take this. Especially since mine is all wrecked for no apparent reason. It's been fixed. Maybe. actually try the interior because with it being a jeep it might actually be a bit easier to see around why would I get any music from the radio Strong one. Although we do want to do that. Alright, let's sell this. This. Obviously, keep the Widowmaker. Fenrir, do we want to get rid of that now that we have this? I'm not sure. 26 to 32 damage. 17 to 20. I think we do. Let's try it. No, we'll keep it just because it's asking us. Um, and I'm not too fussed about that, so we'll get rid of that. Any clothes that we don't want? Yeah, right, okay. Leave that there. What happened to Juliet V? Fuck. She never mentioned she had a sister. It's a crying shame. Thanks for grabbing that data, V. Gig's closed. I'll, um, I'll be in touch.
gosh, wait. Oh my god, look at the state of it. Let's just call a different car completely. Um. Oh, we actually got here. We've got quite a few cars now. We've got the Galena, an old Galena. Let's actually take this one because it actually feels quite nice on the road. There is a. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's see what we have on our map. Got this one here, buy a vehicle, another vehicle. What's this one? Not too far from it, let's give it a go. It actually can move the car. Like, look at the acceleration. Now it's got a bit to it. Let's actually get the dead on now, actually. Talking about then. Hey, you lost to something? Brandon. Sorry, don't got a map. Hey, Rick, you got a map? Nope, use mine for smokes. And wherever you want to be, sure as shit ain't here. Hear that? Nothing for you here. Have a nice day now. <laughs> What's in the suitcase? Don't mind me. Kinda hard when you're hovering over us, huh? Don't you got somewhere to be? So, uh, what's in the suitcase? What's the suitcase? So, there. What's right. in the briefcase? What? The, the, this piece? Gun ready? Yeah. Because... Yeah, probably nothing. Cans? Uh, maybe bottles? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Give it to me now. So, how did you get it? How'd you find that? Doesn't take an expert to see it's corp owned. You from the lost and found or something? Hey, if it isn't your biz, then don't go making it. Hey, um, do you want to give me it? Give it to me. Now. Hey, hey, take it easy, boss. We, we can work something out, right? Come on. Don't make me repeat myself. What are you waiting for? Give it to him. Trust me, you won't get it open anyway. We'll see about that. Where'd you find it? Okay. Said where? The, those dumpsters over there. For fuck's sake, Josh. Look, it wasn't us, all right? Gonk was already cold, we swear. Wait, really? And here I had you pegged for top tier mercs. Now get out of my way. Fine. Take it. But, like, chill the fuck out, okay? <laughs> you were the one threatening me when I walked in. So we have to hack it. Military briefcase. Gain access to encrypted data. E9551C. So will this actually take us to it or we gotta look for it now? Okay, browse the files on the computer. Okay, we have to actually open it. Sesame. All these guys. Mix the cripple. Jumbo Josh. And Brandon. Oh, Brandon doesn't get like Big Brandon or Bossy Brandon or, you know, something like that. <laughs> We've got files. Let's look at that in a minute. Urgent report for. Evaluation. 
So a routine inspection of your data has revealed some unsettling irregularities. You have one hour to report to HQ in order to undergo an evaluation. Failure to do so will be met with removal from our partner plan and subsequent immediate termination. Uh, Chew station, don't be late. For fuck's sake, James. That was the last time. Things are getting tense up here. Really tense. Stay on to me. Probably have your name too. Point is, they're talking to Militech, and that can't be good. You can keep your hold on to... Sorry, wait a minute. You can keep hold onto these eddies for, onto those eddies for now. I don't want to get... Sorry, I don't want it getting into orbit. Too many eyes on incoming transactions don't reply to this message take care this is from night city dating dear sir you have violated the following terms of service regarding use of our digital platform sending a photograph display oh okay <laughs> displaying genitalia with the other party's prior without the other party's prior sense Revealing other users' private information, i.e. doxing, as a result your account Golden God 215 will be permanently banned. Oh my god, look at these names here. Ant Eater Tongue, Six Star Man, and You Money. Alright, let's take a look at this file. Well, look what we have here. Triangulate the... what's going on? Unauthorized data transmission intercepted rapid response unit alerted. Triangulate the manual landing vector coordinates and execute the launch sequence. Jesus, what's going on here? No, it said a team is coming funnily enough. So I don't know what that means. Someone's coming here right now. It says go to the drop points, that's what we're gonna do. Like this? Yeah, I can. Good. Ah, oh, no, I'm the wrong way. So it's all the key, and then we've also got like uh, orbit. Like I don't know where uh, we're actually gonna get that little. Um, that little area where the rocket ship is off. String bio set up spot. So this is that little island that we've got with our rocket. All these nomads tell us how we're going past. Oh, damn it. <laughs> In there, apparently. Might as well just cut across the actual land by this way. So after it's given us. Right, let's park off early. Ah. What are these doing here? Spec up soldiers from military. Let's do about 100 meters and then we'll stop and instead of walking. Okay. Apparently cars are randomly throwing themselves up in the air over there. Payload delivered. Defeat enemies. Cool, alright. This is going to give us a really good opportunity to use this. So what we got over here?
So, as far as I understand, uh, tagging people allows it to work better as well. Come on, there we go. Someone else over here. I see someone down there, but we can't actually get them. Let's sort of move around the perimeter. I'm not sure if like them spotting us will trigger anything or if like they'll just be like, hey, it's just a civilian, let's just leave him. Looks like we got company. Yeah, he definitely doesn't want us to be here. There we go, we can get him over here. This might be a good place to attack from actually with the cover from their vehicle. Let's go. Oh my god, this gun! It's gone? What's going on with it? It's amazing! This dude wasn't hacked. I could use my stand of this gun and go a little bit rambo on these people. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I need to reload. Oh, I've run out of bullets for it already. That's a shame. Uh, let's be really, really quick. Just change this to our other one. The Fenrir. Yeah, we'll go Fenrir. If that's how you say it. He's a good shot. I've run out of bullets again. Damn it. <laughs> right, pistol will have to do. We got one more over here. Let's get the help as we come towards them. Right, do it. Nice pepperoni pizza on them, apparently. What's this? Oh, another gun. So did we run out of bullets everywhere? Oh no, it just didn't reload. So we run out of bullets here. For some reason, this isn't reloading. Usually it reloads manually, which is a bit annoying. Alright, let's do some cleaning up. But yeah, this gun seems completely overpowered. The fact that I could just aim it anywhere and it just seemed to be going into them and just taking them out is outrageous. This is kind of weird because you start, you sort of like, I start the game, I pick like very hard. And it's funny because just by sort of upgrading your character and getting new things, it goes from very hard to all of a sudden being not hard at all. Here it goes. Well, before we get to the moment's of truth, do you know what? Yeah, we'll leave the white stuff. We don't need that. Just have a final check around for anything that. Nothing near of importance. Untitled 18 brand 
Seki 2021. This year. What the hell is this? What's it look like? Francesi, 2021. Untitled number 18. Oil on canvas. Sheesh. Pearls before swine. So you're on art expert well, well, now. Who knew Johnny Silverhand's a lover of fine art? Not me. One of my exes. She was a painter. Bonafide psycho. Like all of them. The sex, though. Can't even begin to describe it. Yeah, I'd really rather you didn't. Psycho sex. Very nice. What the hell is this doing on the moon? Why else? Some bougie prick hung it on his wall. Half the lube's floating in space. You ever been there? Puh, with the chump change I got screaming into a mic? Yeah, in my dreams. All right, let's bail before heads start rolling. As for the painting, you'll have buyers lining up in no time. Cool, all right. So that was a good little chunk of street crud that we got there as well. Uh, in the middle of nowhere. Ah, we could use their vehicle to uh, move. So Space Oddity just got updated. Let's go take a look at that, because if we could get that done. Not sure where it is though. I'm sure we'll come back to it in a minute. Let's just go to our map and see what we're close to. Oh, we have a tarot card here. We may as well go do that. Junk shop. Check that out too. What's this? Melee weapon vendor? Not too interesting that, to be honest with you. Yeah, we've got a few things we can do here. Question mark here too. Hmm, where do we want to go? Oh yeah, we're going to that tarot card first, aren't we? So... Oh, nothing to worry about, just a little bit of fire. In fact, let's get one that's not on fire, because I'm assuming if we get into a, a little bit of a crash or something, that could easily end in tears. I guess these things handle quite well on this type of terrain as well. Looks like a solar farm. What is this? Odd graffiti resembles a major arcane tarot card, the star. Right, are you all fixed up now? No uh, scratches? Oh yes. Oh, that's the one. Looks beautiful. We lost the two right now. Cool. Alright, map, let's see, where do we want to go? Let's go to... Let's do these little question marks on the extremities of the map right now. Life. Oh, I see. Oh, I, you do need some real life. They're essentially, um, they all reflect the light into one point and then it hits the wall. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, what are all these doing? A pure little party going on over here. Let's see what they're all up to.
Zubib Abdul Samad. She looks very happy. Just passing through. Yeah. And we can grab these as well. God. Well, V, there's just Techie, Big Pete. He just made an appearance in the Badlands, only I'd rather he hadn't. Catch my meaning? I'm sending some info on this static scum your way. Thrifts. I'm assuming this is to do with this, what we're right by. Uh, so Big Pete runs a garage out here in the Badlands, fixes, um, fixes up clunkers for the Raffin Shiv. Uh, before that, he was hustling as a techie in Night City. Now Pete's out your definition, sorry, now Pete's not your definition of a nice guy. Soon enough, he made some powerful enemies uh, and had to skip town. Just so happens, Pete's enemies are my friends and I owe said friends a favour. You make Big Pete eat dust. I get one last favour, sorry, I get one last favour to owe. It's not hard to find them, just try any of the Wraith's garages. So is that this area? Are we in the right place right now? Big Pete's here it is, okay. So we're actually driving down there right now, that's what that question mark was. Oh, we don't want to do it. Let's see, how much actual um, ammo do we have on this? Should do. I just have to remember to hit the, um, the reload button if we need to, because sometimes it doesn't do it automatically for some reason. Aha. all of these before we get ourselves into a fight. Got a camera here too. I wonder if there's anything around the back. You and I are gonna have fun when I find you. Actually see that right now. the fact that it sort of also makes these red so it's really easy to spot them. It'll be easier for everyone if you just come out. It might be best attacking them from this side because it doesn't look like they have any um any things on this side. And oh, we have an explosive over there too. But let's go and try this out. Can we get them from here? Not now! Maybe not. Not today. Oh, where do you come from?
place I've come around. There we go. Are we getting here? No. Oh my god, this is cool. Oh my god! That's just so sick. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just so I'm just so amazed by it. Oh, oh. Took a few shots there, two hits. On the corner. Oh my word, it is so cool, but then like kind of easy at the same time. Look at that. No, this can't be happening. Unbelievable. I like check myself. Can I like shoot around the corner at him? Oh it's hitting the um look at that, it's actually hitting the actually shoot these round. Oh it's not working there. Move a bit closer. I just want to try and get it. And that's not working on. Oh gosh, right. Is that little thing with slow down time helped us out there? We bought that from, um, I forgot who it was. Let's just get a bit closer. And we actually have ran out of bullets here. That's no good. Or the other one. There's potentially some one. I mean, it looks like different bullets, but two different assault rifles. On your gun. Why aren't we getting an explosion? Oh. I don't know if ready reflux tuna. Oh, okay, that's like this. I've been run out of bullets. Try and get. Oh my god, that was cool. Here we go. We have caused absolutely mayhem in here. Huh? Why am I not laughing? Literally right around the corner here. Oh my god. That's why motion is so cool when you get it. Yes, the coach. Your toughest nails be. A warrior without mercy. Consider the contract fulfilled. Well done. Oh gosh, 5,775. That is not a bad payday. Yeah, we have to go buy some bullets. The question is, what type of bullets does it take? Because the chrome, not interested in that, to be honest with you. What we've got in here. I have lots of stuff to pick up from bodies. Right, anything else? A little room up here.
So what we got here, um, there's something on the local network that's just like, setting that off, there we go. We have a loan, this tiny mite of big piece. You're my bro man, please, I really need the scratch. Uh, Jesus, Mickey, fuck's wrong with you? How many times have you come to me for Eddie's? Where the fuck does it all go? Maybe I am your bro, but this time you ain't getting shit from me. Bro, come on, I really need this. I've been down on my luck lately, but I know how to bounce back. So it's like gambling type of stuff, maybe? I don't know. I just need an itty bitty loan for an investment. Yeah, sounds like gambling. Uh, last time, I swear. Some next gen shit. This is Big Pete to Manny Quaid. I think Quaid. Uh, I got the most Nova next gen shit you'll ever lay eyes on, or more like won't. You'll know what I mean. You take, sorry, you take it off my hands to move. I need an answer quick, cause they're already snapping at my heels. You in? Let's go and pick up all the stuff from these bodies that we've left in our wake. Can't get in there. Do we have an access point over here? I think so. Rare copperhead, not bad. Martin of one of them. You find these everywhere. Oh, Ooh. yep. Don't want to land there. It's not a good idea. I'm pretty sure we we saw a, um, an access point somewhere here. Maybe not. Anyway, doesn't matter. Poor person has waited terribly patiently. Get out the vehicle. You're a dumb NPC, therefore you do not deserve this car. Take a look at the interior here. Oh my god, that's really cool. I love the metal stuff behind. Oh, that's so cool. Let's see what we've got on the map close to us then. Uh, we have another question mark this way actually. Let's go do that. Cat. I wonder if we could craft ourselves some bullets. First of all, what bullets does this take? Uh, I think I may have picked up some. Yeah. Yeah, we picked up 185. Let's go on to our crafting. I know we can make bullets, so first time we've ever actually done this. So here, what's that? What are you? Pistol ammo, rifle ammo, shotgun ammo, and sniper rifle ammo. None of that actually helps us. We can. There's actually a car place not far from here, is there? Not car place, sorry, sh uh, gun place. Let's go over there. Go stop up on the ammo and then we'll come back over here. Got a nomad vehicle, we will drive the nomad way. Going across the road, mad map, map style. Apparently, we were in a hot style area now.
Yeah, it's like waves. They're like crashing into waves in the boat. Oh my goodness. Oh, I remember this place. This is where we um we did the mission with Pan Am, where we got Hellman. Maybe I'll buy a new hand. Buy a new hand? What's wrong with your hand you have right now other than the fact you've got it buried within your own body? Anyway. Where's the gun fellow? I wonder if it's the person who we actually met when we were here. Did you get any customers other than nomads? Your customers strictly nomad. Get anyone else? <laughs> Who else needs a fill up? There's not too many families take road trips these days. And it's easier to get yourself some iron back in that city. So you bounced back after uh, Melisac took over? Sure cleaned up quick after getting oh, Kyle's surprise visit. Huh? Quick? That was just another day out here in the Badlands. Had a whole band of wraiths right in here once, running from the Isle of Caldos. Had me be their meat shield for a hot second. Since then, I've been ready for anything and everything under the sun. Alright, I need some ammo, mate. Do you have any? Oh, we have a legendary baton here. That's quite cool, that, actually. Very expensive, though. What else do you have? Just get to the ammo. Pistol ammo, rifle ammo, shotgun ammo, sniper. Well, what am I using then? Is it just rifle ammo that I'm using? Let's just check really quick. How much? How much do we have? We have thirty one five five. All right. So let's go back to them. Let's try buying this. Let's buy it all. Yeah. Okay. So now we have the same amounts. Let's try the pistol ammo. It's not going to hurt us, is it? Getting stocking up on it. Oh, there we go. So this takes pistol ammo. That's weird. That's really strange. I may as well stock up on this now that we're here. I'll cover you fast. This isn't going to go well, is it? I mean, a good rule of thumb is just don't hit the um, the spear wheel or that. Absolutely need to. Because it just tends to cause more problems than just trying to straight forward. Yeah, it definitely doesn't handle the with the nomad vehicle, that's for sure. Where the hell are we? Kang Tao Defense Drone. Looks 
Looks like they're the only ones here. Let's actually try using our Santa Vista and seeing if we can take these off. Can you break? No, alright. Do you have epic item components? Sorry? I don't really know why this area is hostile. It's a bit weird. Like, what's here? Well, hang on. Looks like something's crashed. Let's take a look. Okay, maybe that looks like where it's landed and it crashed going this way. Oh, do you know what it is? This is where uh, we shut down the thing, in fact. Do you know what Hellman was in? I see. All right. So for some reason, these stayed around. Do we have anything in in the back? No. All right. Let's actually uh, take this. It might actually work better than the car that we currently have. Oh, here is hostile. Let's actually put on some rock radio for Johnny O. Can we help these? They both um got something to say? No. God protects the protected. Looks like he's got into a bit of a fender bender over here. So what's happening over here? Hopefully a car doesn't run us over. It's like a little base. Very well guarded, I'm not sure. This is going to be the easiest of missions. Who are you? Oh, Sniper Militech, I see. Hey, new gig on the horizon. Militech detained a smuggler by the name of Bruce Welby at the border. His buddy wants him out. It's no surprise, but he needs someone to do the dirty work and make sure Bruce tastes freedom once again. Specifics attached. Okay, let's have a quick read of this. So this is who we're looking for, I think. Sometimes you need a friend to lean on. Sometimes you need a friend to break you out of, a, sorry, of an immigration detention center at the Night City SoCal border. Smuggler Bruce Welby required the latter. Uh, Bruce tried to cross the state line with hat cargo in tow, but it didn't work out as planned. And now he's been chained up by Militech border security already several days. His buddy and Militech employee, Archibald Crane, 
uh, found out about this situation through the grapevine. I'll be damned if that cuckoo corpo actually decided to help his friend instead of towing the corpo line. He contacted me to get Bruce out of his cage. You're missing, uh, sorry, you're the missing element in this friendship triangle find to Bruce. You mean find Bruce, break him out, and escort him to the Shambasa Archie. And let's make sure Militech doesn't notice a thing. Got it? Uh, um, okay, get to it. One more thing, Archie says not to kill any corpos. Uh, so what can I say? The client's always right. Okay, so we're not going to be able to do that because we need the right stuff. We need the correct, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, we can't do it. We only have the slow motion. I forgot what you call it. Let me show you right now. So we've got this right now. The Dynalar Santa Vista Mark IV. So we're going to do this all stealthy-like. Oh gosh, I've actually ended up using it by accident. But anyway, we're going to do it stealthy. Yeah, what's going on with these two cars? Oh, wheels, where do they come from? Alright. Yeah, but if we're going to do the stealthy, we're going to need the, the epic... Aren't we? So, let's get back into our car and we'll find another mission. And we'll do that one another time. Let's check on our map what we want to do. What's this here? Junk shop. Let's go to the junk shop, see what they're selling over there. Hurry! Oh gosh, gotta go across. This and this will be car now. If we keep it around 80, we should be alright. It's not that bad around this speed. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. How the Caldo Campo we're going actually come to think of it. Wow. Right in the middle of nowhere. So, do you get many customers? We have unfinished business to attend to. Who are you? Heavy day, huh? I know something about that. So you all by yourself? You here all by yourself? I, I am now. Yes. Uh, they all, uh, they're all gone. No one left. Uh, are you, you, you bu buying anything? If not, leave me in peace. Oh, no, we're going to take what? The various item. Uh, please, uh, pre please have a look. Okay, so what do we have here? Epic upgrade components, legendary item components, 50 of them for a thousand each. Junk, is that it? Is this what we came out here for? Got some vinyl records here. I don't think there's anything here, is there? Could sell them some of the stuff we picked up, though. Nope, we don't want to sell you that. What is that? Is that my Widowmaker? Absolutely not. Overwatch? No. Ajax? Yes. Possibly Ajax, maybe. Maybe that's what it actually says. Get rid of that. Don't need that copperhead. At least our friends are very well stocked up. Millie Tech 
Neo Tac Pants. Let's have a little check of what we've got here. In terms of new clothes. No, we don't want to use that. Do we have any more mod slots? No. In terms of our tops, what we got? Obviously, we have Johnny's top. Heat resistance, Aramid, weave, fixer shirt. Nah, not interested in that. Netrunner suit? Uh, no, I don't think so. In terms of headwear, got a new mask, some goggles, not really interested in any of that. So what are these? 52 to 57, let's have a quick look. Looks alright. I mean, it looks okay. I think this one stylistically goes with what we're wearing maybe a little bit better. In terms of boots. Yeah. All right. All right, let's sell them the clothes that we're not keeping hold of. Hmm, do I want to put them on? Maybe not. That might not be bad for the boxing, to be fair, if we wear the um, heat resistance armor that we've fixed the shirt. Excuse me, we are done I guess I'm not sure the world's ever before. We so what do we want to do now? It's a vehicle. Who knows what you might find? Let's go over there then. Trash, but hey, I we can't get any closer to him. From a In terms of fun, we've done quite well, we've already got them back up to 22,000. That's not my favourite to be honest with you. Sorry. <laughs> oh, this is the area where we actually um, drove through with Jackie, isn't it? We had the big massive shoots out with um, Jackie driving through here, I believe. When we're first coming in, smuggling the iguana. What we got over here? Let's actually get out of the car. Hey, I need your help. I've lost contact with Benedict McAdams and the driver who was supposed to get him out of town. Head to the coordinates I gave you. See what you can find. More details attached. Okay, uh, let's have a look. So fix is worth no more and no less than their last promise. And I promised Benedict Adams I'd get him out of town once he checked off a job for me. Benedict's one devil of a pro, just six hours in a, t sorry, just six hours into taking the job and Councilman McLean's heartbeat for the last time. Okay, uh, that fat fish I'd had dangling in my line too long. The risk of a slip-up was high, so before he set it set to it, Benedict installed a GPS in his Bioman, Biomon so I could have an eye in the sky on him, as it were. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so how many people are we looking at over here? Oh, 
Okay, okay. Oh, this thing can steal up here. So, did you think it over? Well, of course. If you can't fit it in your budget. Too scary a sum for all those lightweight and militech, I suppose. Flip this over to our sniper. Be able to make quick work of this. Come on, shoot! Come on, shoot, man! Why not let me shoot? Oh, it's coming up my way, I think. Um, let's use the help. Yeah, I'm a psycho. Ouch. Oh my god, it just moved his head to look then. Come on, shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm in! We just leveled up as well. All right. Let's stop running. Okay, we have some rifle ammo and an archive conversation here. Uh, Jason Road Driver heard you're looking for Ben McAdams. Well, you're in luck. Got him right here, and he is going anywhere. Could be yours for the right price. How much? I want five times more than the lead head from last year. Final offer. Uh, I will pay you, sorry, I will pay it to my superior authorised to make these kinds of decisions. Um, sorry, I'll repay it, I should say. We'll be in touch. Right, fucking Millisec always calls the shots, don't they? We certainly don't let the shots call themselves. Oh, I'm just going to take that. This job reward. Benedict McAdams delivered dead or alive, but well, they want him alive. Rewards here, class A. Access token, good stuff. Let's just turn this off. In fact, we could actually use it, couldn't we, just to see what's going on? We got any friends down here? Take this as Benedict. Yep. Let's turn that off now that we've looked. That's just the way out. What was in the other room before we go and find him? Is this just another way out? Yep, alright. Um, oh my god, what the hell has happened in that bath? Makes you sick. Right, Benedict, you down here, man? Says access granted, but I can't get in. You alright? 
A new face. See, Militech's been investing in young talent. So, you here to take me on a little field trip? Um. No, why did Militech want to buy you? Why did Militech want to buy you off of Jason? What? You missed the memo? That NCC crook, McLean. Militech bought him off. Drafted bills he passed without a blink. I took the bastard out. Now they're desperate to find a fall guy. Don't want the NCPD looking too close into the matter. As upstanding citizens would do. Mm -hmm. Militech's gladly gonna pin me for a heap other things. Since I'm already here, I can only surmise I'll be so desperate as to end up taking my own life, as they say. Sorry to hear that. Well, Dakota sent me. Dakota's behalf. For Christ's sakes, now you're telling me? I loathe it, this whole playing tough in the face of death thing. Seems to handle yourself well. Handled yourself well. Should have seen how that fool Jason gobbled it up. Even started holstering in the small of the back like me. All right, let's get you out of here. Oh, shit. I feel like I haven't used my legs for a straight month. Oh, well, you could have done some laps of this little area, couldn't you? Right, let's go. Can we take your car. Oh, this is really nice. I'm just an angry old man. I'm made it straight for your head. Ain't got no reason speaking to you if we ain't breaking no bread. I got demons. Hey, this is really good. Oh, I like that. How the fuck did this guy have to be on the bench? Oh, this feels nice. It feels very great on the road. Cola folks got growing on genetic mismatch. Miles above any sin melons you can find. Okay. Set that thing. What I wouldn't give one taste of that sweet, sweet melon. Of course, that prick Jason entertained the thought. Shit. <laughs> I'm a bit indisposed. Looks like you'll have to be my chauffeur. A V, FYI. Dakota's sending over your payment. Great. Nova, thanks. Have a good one. Is that it? That's all I have to say? Yep. Oh, hey, I'll tell you what, Dakota pays very well. I might just do gigs with just the coast for now while I'm doing these uh, side missions. Tell you what. Because I've got someone for all of you faithful listeners to keep an eye out for. Okay, got and sell the Benedict safe. I hope this time the driver doesn't disappoint. Thanks for you get closed. I could have driven it. Trust the source on the street that tells me we've got a visitor to our fair city from Brazil, and this guy is something else. He's got a permanent hairdo like a circus clown, and I hear he's even got a big red nose. Supposedly he's some kind of merc or arms dealer, but the rumor is he's also a genetic experiment. But hey, big oh, nose, like ever. weird hair, could this guy have something to do with the bozos? Or maybe this guy- There's reason I can't drive any further, that's weird. Yeah, it was strange. That wouldn't let me drive any further with the uh, that car. Let's see, what else do we want to do? Um, 
seeing all so we can actually see main missions. We have something over here. Now it's by a vehicle. Something down there. Beats on that brat rancho. Little boxing to finish off the episode, maybe. Yeah, go on. Let's do some boxing to finish off the episode. We'll drive down here. Don't bother with any fast travel, just enjoy the scenery. We draw the episode to a close. I don't know why they were floating, but there you go. Nothing come out from too fast. The physics didn't really matter anymore. It's an interesting sound there. Maybe it won't make any difference. Check the map. No, it does make a difference. I can get onto this road here. I'll do. So we're going to do the animals club. Let's end off there, actually. Sure, we could use this slip road. Should be okay. Jesus, I don't know where I'm going. Oh yeah, both out. There we go. Actually worked out okay. Stand here. The sun is down, but I hope you're still up. Today I call this segment Stanley's contractually obligated boring traffic news flash. Recently, a traffic light failure led to a major collision in Arroyo. Witnesses say all lights switched to green simultaneously. That's really yes, quick. That but right. when we walk the in, that's actually saved the game because last time I had so much trouble with the boxing. It was unreal. And I am not losing because <laughs> I'm going to be betting the maximum lights. amount. Stand here. Yo, got a gig for you. Corpos like to call it human asset liquidation. It means someone's got to go bye-bye. Fee's attractive, but not without good reason. Targets an animal. I thought the Check road the looked... Attached. The texture on the road looks so nice. Uh, now, because we are... Wait a minute. Uh, we need this car. Because we're going to do some boxing, obviously. We need to open up this stash and get these shorts. And we already have something that we want to wear. Oh, these pants as well. I'll take a moment. So if I go to my inventory now, let's actually unequip this, unequip the headwear. Unequip that. Don't want to equip them. <laughs> Pop these on. Now he looks glorious. Um, those boots are alright. Let's have a check. Yeah, we'll go with them. They go a bit better. We'll use Johnny's top, maybe. Or this. What does this look like? No, definitely Johnny's top. And it's probably going to be it. Yeah. So we are now ready to go boxing. Oh, and let's save it as we're going in as well. Hold it, word. You think you can just get in for free? How about you get out of the way? Out of my fucking way. 
What? You think you're some kind of hot shit you can get in anyway? Nothing to think about. I know it. So step the fuck aside. All right. Fucking go. Thank you. The fuck you want. Well, who's next? Anyone else? So this is a lady called Rhino. Fuck the Getty Pitcher, I'm guessing this is who we're fighting. Oh, look at us, with our little shorts. <laughs> oh my goodness. Got a fight lined up here. That's so. Don't look familiar to me. You fresh meat here? Could say that. Well, watch yourself then. They don't like strangers here. One wrong look, and you're crawling through the gutter on busted legs. But you defeat me. I can get you back to the right folks. You could use the equipment, meet with the trainer, that kind of stuff. Uh, thanks. Appreciate it. I'd say you're welcome. But there's still the matter of defeating me. And full disclosure, I've never lost a fight. You don't look like you have. So who runs the club? Say. Who's running this club? Name's Logan Garcia. Used no, to be the best on. damn boxer in Night City. Who knows? Maybe in all the states. Not overselling it a bit there? Just watch him in action. You'll see. Uh, shouldn't we talk wages? We're not throwing any eddies on this match? No. When the cash comes in, it just muddles the whole sport. I'm here for fights, and the fights alone. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, let's go. You say you've never lost. I say there's a first time for everything. Ha! Sorry to say, you'll be disappointed. Come on. All right. I don't need ladders. Ouch, maybe I do. What's this? Oh, gosh. Very, very nice. Can I save it here? Oh, I can't as well. Cool. So... That way, if we lose, <laughs> we can just Got pop any back good out. Tech under the hood? Sensory filters, rotors, boosted core? You're about to find out. Ha! Ah, true, true. We do All have right. a slow motion. Shall that might help we? us out. Let's, yeah, let's get go. to it. Good luck! You'll need it. Come on, let's go. Oh gosh, where did all my health go? Why have I got half health all of a sudden? Oh my gosh, he one shot at us! I won! I won! I won! Yeah, I noticed. Seeing as we're already warmed up, you want a rematch? Yeah, <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's get to oh, it. God. Good luck! You'll need it. What? How does she do that? No wonder she's never lost. Jesus. I won! I won! I won! Yeah, I noticed. Got those arms on it. Warmed up. You want a rematch? Yeah. I mean, let's get to it. Good luck! You'll need it. Basically, don't let it hit you. Let's get, let it get that punch in. God, we can't even phase her even. So, yeah, don't let her hit you. Just keep on dodging until the bloody slow motion thing comes back, baby. Oh, I can't even see her, man. I can't even see her, she's too fast. <laughs> I mean, she's slow. That's the only thing I can say. But I, I mean, once she connects, I she won. connects. Yeah, I noticed. Seeing as we're already warmed up, you want a rematch? All right, let's try let's one more time. 
Good luck! You'll need it. Look at that. We're getting criticals here and it's just, it's not happening. I never thought the boxing would be this hard. hard. Because you can't really block it because all the punches are power punches. Come on, stop away reflexes. Where are you? Don't let me use it. I won! I won! I won! Yeah, I noticed. She and us were already warmed up. You want a rematch? <laughs> I sh no, I can't actually hear it like this, right. I'll try one more time, I don't Let's think I can beat her. Good luck! You'll need it. Okay, so... Oh. See that? Like, I can't even dodge it sometimes, because it just... I mean, this is ridiculous. <laughs> you look at that? I won! I won! I won! Yeah, I know. Let's get to it. Good now let's luck. try and actually You'll need it. do that because some oh. Look at that, we actually um oh, you can't do anything. I won! I won! I'm gonna leave this I load won. of rubbish. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here I know this. Quickly as possible. He caved that guy's face in on purpose. Probably upstairs now, down in a bottle. <laughs> Wait a minute, you, could I say something to him then? Here for Logan. We've got a date. Oh yeah. Skipping dinner? Here to get straight fucked? Funny. That ain't your biz. He's now, where is he? Logan's pissing me but Said not to be bothered, so if I were you, I'll wait downstairs. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with this right now, but Logan's the uh, guy who runs this place, but there's a mission down there too. So basically, even if you parry her, she takes a load of health off you because she's using heavy shots, which is really annoying. Oh my god, I don't know how we're gonna beat her. I use this while I'm in the vehicle. The, the cyber wave reflexes. Apparently not. Alright, let's get changed back into what we usually wear. What's this one here? Reinforced laminate military flight jackets. Right, in a minute, I'm just going to have a quick look at our journal, but I'm just going to take a quick break and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. So let's see what we're doing here. We've got another beat on that brat, which we're going to leave because they seem quite horrible. Um, 
Let's have a read through these. The beast in me. Oh, that's a race in one. I always like end them with a race there, not bad. Unknown number, anonymous clients, a secret hotel, meet up. The aura of mystery. This is Smasher Ozob. Quite the name, don't know why. But the sound of it gets creepy circus music stuck in my head. Killing in the name, I'm curious about the Swedenberg. Swedenborg Rivera, to write that kind of nonsense, you've got to have a good head. See where the coordinates lead. Didn't we already do that? Right, let's go over to this and just fast travel to it and then we'll leave it as that. That's sort of the final thing, we'll just finish up the with that. We were going to do the boxing, but it literally seems like it's impossible. Who are you? Beat cop. Chemical spill of some sort, maybe? Right, let's get down here. Mirage. Sounds like it's going to be sort of like a mirage type of deal. Where we're going to see something that's not actually there, maybe. I wonder if this is close to anywhere where we actually uh, basically arose from the dead. Oh my god, wait a minute, is that... <laughs> oh my god, it's actually him! Look at him. A treacherous... ...person. So he's got a gun on him there. I yeah, won't we'll be taking that, you won't be needing it, will you? Oh, that's so good. So where were we? So... We came from this area. I think we were potentially dropped somewhere like maybe this direction. I don't know, to be honest with you. Oh, so cool the fact that he's here. Dexter the Sean. That's epic. Oh, fuck a dog doll. One thing I know like I know my own name. You do not poke around strangers' cool boxes. Best case scenario, you find a half gallon jug of rancid milk. Worst? Motherfucker up a sad mass. That's Raish Bartmoss. Bartmoss? <laughs> the Bartmoss. Data crash rabbit Bartmoss. Guy who trashed the first net? Well, it wasn't his uncle. Yeah, yeah. Him. I'd recognize that mug anywhere. Wanted posters all over town back in 2020. Public enemy number one, dead or alive. Half the city was on the hunt. Poor bastard. And Seems like all the legends come here to die. Cool box. Till some circuit blew and he thawed like so much meat. Uh-huh. Yeah. About 20 years back, judging by the stench. Well, stood about as much as I can. Gotta go. Hold up, hold up. Gotta be some electronics in here. First net relics, almost crank-powered. Be a shame just to leave it. 
Even if there is, it's bound to be bunk. Bound to be? Wouldn't be so sure. Only one way to find out. Nah, I need to think about it. Said the gonk who missed the shuttle. Come on, look inside. Alright. I already did that scan the freezer. Oh well. An SGI Tech Elisla. It's best cyber deck in its class. See? Worth getting a little rod on your hands sometimes. Can I pick hey, just thinking. Cat at the afterlife goes by Nix. Looked like somebody who'd know legacy tech. Chat him up. See what happens. Could end up pulling something from it. Yeah, let's take it then. Um, leave him to rest in peace. Uh, let's definitely get a picture of this guy. Let's go to see what this is about down, but I hope you're still up. Is it a mirage? A hologram? No, my friends. It's clear, open skies. But don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun. They really haven't done a good job of a uh, waste disposal, have they? I am just going to fast travel to this. Where the fast travel is. Ah, it's here on the left. Yeah, right the way across town. I haven't been in here in a while, actually. Go to the afterlife and talk to Nick. Welcome back. So, ready? Rogue should be here any minute. What she says. Uh, so, do you enjoy working in the afterlife? the afterlife? Working in Fights are rare, and when they do happen, they're over quick. Killer clientele, right? No words, not mine. Are you ready for the next race? How's it going? Ready for the next race? Oh, she's been a little dream. Full tank, tuned up, body polished to the sheen. Never been more ready. I was asking about you, Quinn. Now you pleased. Yeah, I met me. <laughs> Let's see if the ducky um, well is on the menu, yeah. Tough day? I don't like any other. So, what'll it be? Come on, let there be a jockey Wells. No. Absinthe. Damn it, it should, like, they should sell a jockey Wells. That'd be a really nice touch. No, not here, yes. New release brain dancers. It's a ripper dock. So what's it like working for Rogue? What's it like working for Rogue? It's fine. But that's it? Fine? You want info on Rogue? Ask her yourself. I'm sure she'll be ever so obliged. Can you teach me something? Listen, from one netrunner to another, 
You got any pro tips you could spare? <laughs> Don't see why not. If you're cool with Rogue, you're cool with me. I can sell you a few tricks of the trade from the Bardmoss era. Rage Bardmoss. The Bardmoss. Tell me you're fucking with me. Before dropping off the grid, he unleashed a slew of ice-breaking grams and protos in the darkest corners of the net. I heard how paranoid he was. Any idea what happened to him? We know. <sighs> Who knows? But I was able to dig up a few classic Bartmoss relics. Here, let me show you. Oh, cool. This is actually a quest item. He's got a ping gear. We already have that. Uh, but we could buy off him, I guess, since it's free. What's he got anyway? Uh, contagion, cripple movements, cyberware malfunction. As far as I know, we already have that one. Um, where can I get it here? No. Pretty sure we already have cyberware malfunction. Short circuit, contagion. Con we've got two contagions. We don't need two, do we? Cripple movements. Short circuit, weapon glitch. Two of them. Get rid of one. Oh, we have even more weapon glitches. Yeah, we've definitely looked into this. Sonic Shock. Deafens the target. No, I don't want that. Where was it? There it is. Cyberware Malfunction. Definitely. That would come in handy against a Cyber Psycho. Does he have anything else? Quick Hack Components. Rare Quick Hack Components. I could stamp some of this stuff, actually, couldn't I? Well, we'll definitely keep hold of the plan B, which we got off. Got off Dex. Forgot his name for a minute there. <laughs> Literally just went blank. Uh, should we keep hold of that? Yeah. Right, anyway, um, I have a few things I can tell you. You can teach me something, but I can teach you that I found Bart Moss's deck. Hey, Nix, listen. Found something. Bart Moss's deck. Mm-hmm. What else you find? Alan Turin's tapes? <laughs> Doesn't believe us. Being serious. Have a look-see. Ooh, running shit. God damn, V. Where'd you ferret this out? It's one quick one. Might as well get this for the thumbnail. I uh, found it in a fridge for funnel, the funnel outside enough. town. In a fridge next to its former owner's rotting corpse. <laughs> Bark Moss all the way. Netwatch made him a wounded man when looking in Shanghai, Lahore, Santiago de Chile. While that dog alighted to the net. Wonder how long he'd have kept buzzing those wires if the power hadn't gone out. Think you can pull anything off it? Hmm. Text coming apart. Humanity damaged. Encryption on the mem cube. Gotta be near divine. Spare me the two-step, yes or no? I can try. Failure, though, is a distinct possibility. Then all data will be lost. Done and gone. Best let it be, fine, get to it. What's this here? I think the disk might be infected. Can't actually say that. No risk. No reward. Get to it. Okay. Put the deck on the counter. Just ginger like. <laughs> Alright. This counter? 
All yours. All yours? Oh, V. V. Got no sense of reverence. Expect if you found the goddamn Holy Grail, you'd fill it with caramel corn and pop turds. Now, let's get this show underway. Mm. Mm. Most data's corrupt, but not all. Password. A dict attack, maybe. Nothing doing. And what about injecting a command? Ha! <laughs> We're golden. One more hurdle. But it ought to be as easy as pie. My, my. Of all people, Bard Ma should have done better. Okay, yeah. we got here. Uh, uh, Saw what uh, got. Uh, a brain uh, broiler. You absolutely shit, sure catch it, you want to check in. Ideas be fast and stat. Couple of minutes and his skull sponge will be well done stick. What ideas? I don't know what to do. Uh, okay, we could strap him first, get some money. <laughs> So, what have we got? It hasn't given me a sequence to upload. What? There's no sequence here. That's really strange. Just leave God that. God damn it! Let's try this instead. Maybe we can find a sequence somewhere, maybe on the computer, in fact. So, on his local network, just net run a chair. Oh, hang on, let's actually have a look at this. Net page. Samurai Web Nightcorp. Find a way to save Nick's. He must have something on him, maybe... What's this here? Blaming Bartmoss by Bugbear? Yeah, that's just talking about how Bartmoss crashed the net most likely. Uh, there must be a way to save him. Wait, wait a minute. Jacking again, maybe... Come on, jacking. Maybe I just need to do it again. Sequence required to upload. I haven't got anything. No. Bounce back. Oh. Reset this baby. Uh, uh, fuck a muffin. You breathing? Apparently. Oh, it feels like I got a skull full of hot embers. Just. What the hell happened? You started convulsing. Lights went out. Outlets started spitting sparks. So I killed the power. It helped. Shit. Wait, the deck. Oh, man. It's wiped. All gone. Oh. Would you rather have died? I'd rather have died. Really? No, of course not. But shit. I'm going to spend the rest of my life wondering what was on there. Listen. My services usually command a tidy sum. But this time, well... Seems you rendered me a service. <laughs> Take this. Handful of demons live on that shard. Wasn't Bart Moss who coded them. But they should be useful nonetheless. I'm Thanks, okay, Nix. Cool. You gonna get it together? Be alright? Or, uh, you need help? No, no. Be just fine. A couple of painkillers washed down with whiskey. And I'll be a new man. <laughs> Can we talk to you again? Maybe not. Let's try jacking in again now, here. No, we haven't got anything. Let's just try, like, maybe... I don't know, 1C... Huh? Eh? That was it, apparently. <laughs> I 
I don't know what that did, but okay. So I think that's it. Oh, hang on. Back here, this is where we met Dex, isn't it? Get in here? No. Next, got a job for you. Hey, got a job for you. Swing by when you have a sack. Since he's only here, let's go see what he wants. I've literally just left the room. It was somewhere around here. No, not there. Ah. Here he is. V dog, listen. Got a yarn for you. Quick biz, that is. You interested? Yeah. All right, lay it on me. Was cruising the net, you feel? And I spotted an interesting classifier. Wait, let me guess. Performance enhancers? A used Mr. Stud? Cheap. <laughs> now, I'm a serious man, V. And serious matters are what, if not all, that concern me. Somebody's selling a book of spells. Edition dating from before the first net crash. Now, you know a thing or two about that, don't you? Like, how much that soft could run you and earn you. You want me to clep it for you, don't you? Uh-uh. No clepping required. Just buy the damn thing. Reimburse you twofold. I'd say, uh... Well, can't you guess Sending it? me out to do your shopping? Want a case of Nicola with that? Algae chips? Think on it, V. A treasure, and someone's willing to part with it. Now, who does that? The hard up, V. And Desperado's got this unsavory side. They're unpredictable. One word off their mood, and they reach for their heat. That's why I need you to meet the seller. You got heat at the ready. All right, let's okay. do it. We'll do. Yeah, my man. Zipping you the deets on the seller. And luck be with you all the way. Let's read the message. Um, hey, got a job for you, so I'm by. Nyx has shared a contact with you. Okay, got it, thanks. Got a new contact added. The complete wrong way to go. Okay, so this will probably be the last mission that we'll do. Hey, we're not going to see Rogue. Not yet, anyway. Uh, let's go to Journal. So it's spellbound, isn't it? Yeah, job from next. Let's go do that one. So let's call this R three N O. Where is the? And there. Ah, there we go. Hey, you looking for the book? That's right. Sounds about right. Price non-negotiable. You'll need to pay in full on pickup. Clear enough. Agreed. Prime, I flicked you the address. Come by your lonesome. Hey, come along. Come along. I have eyes everywhere. Okay, let's do it. Come on with my car. Oh, there we go. Today's the have a pleasant day, night city. How far away? 1.6 out of 2 bucks. Let's go do that, and then uh, we'll call it a day on the screen. This next thing just led somewhere too interesting to just leave it there, so 
You might as well do it. This is where we're meant to meet. Issues. I see you. I see you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Spellbook. You got it? I do indeed. Tucked away somewhere safe. You want coordinates? I need to see my money. Um, is this your attempt at a con? Are you trying to fuck me? No, not at all. I just... Because I really got it in for people who try that. <laughs> Always tempted to end any conversation like that. Violently. Abruptly. You'd be making a mistake. A big one. I'm not out to con you. Also, I'm not a victim. I'm prepared just as well as you are. All right. Damn, this stinks to high hell. But okay, I'll take you at your word. You won't regret it. Better not, or you will, bigly, giving you my word on that. Just flipped you the coordinates. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Hey, always a pleasure doing biz with you. So we have a new place to go for Spellbound, only 60 meters away, but it's underground. Let's we'll get out of our car for this. I thought it might have been like a little, um, like a bridge which you go under, or like a tunnel, rather. What? Jesus, what? Oh fuck! Zeta Tech XPR. Got to be like fifty years old. At least that. Had one, you know. Top of the line back in the day. What about now? So open your shard menu and decrypt the Book of Spells. Ah, oh, so cool. Um, let's go do that. I'm assuming it's usually that one with the numbers, isn't it? Like these. I'm not sure. Maybe a bit lower? Literature... Ah, this one maybe? No, not that one. There we go, spell book. Right, before we do this, just in case we mess up, let's save it because I am too curious to mess this up right now. Let's save. Right, just to be doubly sure, let's quick save it as well. There we go, let's go journal. No, not journal. Uh, shards. There we go. Go straight to the bottom. I hope it's still here. Yeah, there we go. Let's do it. Okay, so we've got a few here. Extract a moderate amount of Euro Dollars. Copy the demon infected 
perfecting the shard and we have a crafting spec for an advanced quick hack oh my god it's so cool so we definitely want this one but we also want to be careful with this infected part of the shard now is it possible for us to do it all it's our buffer here 367 all right can we do it all Um, possibly not. Let's concentrate on this. So we could go 55, 1C, FF, BD, which would lead us into there. Then we could go straight to that E9 there, then BD, and then 55. So I think I know what I'm doing. So it'll be, was it this 55 I wanted? 55, 1C, one of these FFs, I think. All right, let's go for it. 55, 1C, FF, BD, E9, BD, 55. Oh, cool. All right. So, BBS rumour mills actually churned out some truth that Zeta Tech Fort is a fucking Alcatraz. Modified pit bulls at each other, sorry, at each entry point. Speed traps and seer at access points. Um, as soon as I step foot in their net, they set flatline on my ass. So, flatline is like a um, thing that they upload to them, maybe. Nice try, Zeta, but a little. Ardvark? I'm not too sure. Sounds like Ardvark. That's actually like Ard from um from The Witcher. Ardvark and Killer 5 combo meal did away with that. But for real, it wasn't easy. My trusty Alicia was smoking like a flare gun by the end of it, but I got the job done. Don't believe me? Check it yourself. I left a little note at the top of Zeta's Fortress where their logo used to be Spider Murphy used to be spider murphy was here oh spider murphy was um in johnny's crew wasn't she oh fuck he actually did it bart moss unleashed data crash whole nets falling apart before my very eyes data fusing together fortresses melting like ice cream ones and zeros flooding the information highway global stock markets losing its shit dow jones dropped by hundreds in a single hour that's not even that much to be honest with you We've seen a massive crash in the Dow Jones in real life, and it was uh, dropping not by hundreds, but um, thousands, actually. Uh, Kantau CEO committed suicide. Netwatch is running around like a headless chicken. Holy fuck, say goodbye to the old order. Death to corpse. Whoop. Bartmoss was wrong. Everything was wrong. The net was a mirror held up to our thoughts and dreams. Our lives, Bartmoss took it and shattered it into pieces, thinking that would be enough. But as it happens, you can still see your reflection in every shattered piece of glass. Now, instead of one mirror, we have thousands of them. Every corp government gang now has their own net that they rule with an iron fist, with no regulations, no accountability, surveillance hasn't disappeared. In the hands of those who govern us, it's only gotten worse. Uh, they're like a modern day fates with optic cables of our lives wrapped around their chrome fingers, ready to be cut at any moment's notice. Sorry, at a moment's notice. They hear our frustrations, they look upon our futile rebellion, and they laugh. They laugh so hard, the whole world trembles at its very core. So what did we get from that then? I don't know what I'm reading. My eyes are like, seeing like blue lines now. <laughs> I don't know if you guys get that. Did we get a, um, a shard? Just that, not a shard, sorry, a um, cyberware stuff potentially? We can't actually check it, but we'll have to take a look. We actually need another um, 
which will another time back in at the moment, because at the moment we can't even put anything in that we get. Side I don't have wise. The issue with this is when you accelerate, I think it's accelerating so fast you get wheel spin. But then when you when you move and you actually get a bit of traction, then it's supposed to feel a bit more normal. Like not even in the middle of the road. Sorry, they were like literally in the middle of the road pretty much. I'll do. So I'm not sure if we've actually met this net before other than for this mission. Um, that we just started. I don't recall him. So, ready? No, we'll I'm not ready. Here any not doing that yet, mate. We'll do smash it later. I'm gone. Here we go. Here. Yeah. So, I bought the book. You got my eddies. So, you got the book? As I says, V, I am a serious man. Amount is agreed. All yours. Tablets worth heaps more. You know it, I know it. If we had more intelligence, we'd be able to get them there. Um, we only have one point as well to invest. Damn it. Alright, thanks, I guess. Thanks a bunch. Don't mention it. It's money well deserved. Jesus, that was quite a lot as well. Uh, you've received a transfer from Nix. Yep, great. Anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you next time. I'll be streaming tomorrow, Saturday, and then next up Sunday as well. So uh, be sure to make it there. I will see you next time.